Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's a bit cold today in Colorado, so got the hood up and everything like that. But I was working on a few other videos, and then I realized what was coming down the pipeline of Blue Archive, and I was just shocked on how many people are not farming the best two-star explosive character in the game. You need to get her to five-star as soon as humanly possible, especially with some of the stuff coming out soon. I use her all the time, but before we get started, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It helps me out. It really does. When you guys come back, watch these videos, or you watch any of the videos of the future content, it helps me out a ton. I do appreciate it, but let's kick off the video. Okay. Best two star explosive character in the game. Serica. hands down Serica, and she is used everywhere. She's used in campaign progression. Uh, she's used in bounties. She can be used in, uh, she could be used in a lot of raids that are coming up. And we're going to talk about that, especially in detail. And she's also one of the easiest characters to farm and to get the five star. Now you can see mine's only three star right now, but I have, I've been farming for her and I am trying to get her to the five star as soon as possible. So let's cover the, let's just cover the character real quick. Now, she is a middle explosive character, has double positive affinity in both the urban and indoor area. That's key, very key. So let's keep that in mind. Her attack damage is pretty low compared to Aru's and Hibiki's and a bunch of others, but she makes up for it. Her EX skill allows her to get increased attack by 30 seconds, allows her to reload instantly, and only costs two. Any two costs in the game is wonderful. Her basic attack, same as everyone, does a little bit more damage. Not really the one to focus on. Her enhanced skill increases attack even more. Mwah! Wonderful, wonderful. And then her sub skill increases attack speed. She literally, she is kitted out. She is kitted out. Now, on top of that, uh, my face is kind of in the way, but uh, she does have gloves. Great. She's going to create a lot more crunchy and then more crit on top of that so great wonderful um so she's just going to be a crit machine and then you can uh you guys should be farming for her now let's go over where you can farm for her which is which is right here she's one of the only two stars the asuna might be one i gotta remember i gotta you know hit me in the comments down below if i forgot one but there's not a lot of two stars there's not a lot of one stars there's not even a lot of three stars that you can farm in three stages hers you can you could farm in three stages which gives you an insane amount chance to get her boosted up I'm telling you guys gotta gear the five star as soon as humanly possible she is worth every single cent the other best part about it is that she uses abydos bucks and there's the only other person really using Abido's books right now too is Nonami. So you probably are already stockpiling a lot of these materials and you're probably sitting on them. So you, you're good to go. She could probably be one of your best DPSers in the game. And now let me tell you, let's go into why exactly you need the five star her right now. Okay. Raid, raid, raid. Now, we have not had a red raid in the global release just yet, but let's remember her affinity. She was positive affinity in urban areas and indoor areas. Why does that matter? There's two red raids coming out, and you know every raid is in two locations, right? Shirokuro was in indoors and urban. Bina is technically outdoors and urban. They they like to flip them up and put them in different locations to, you know, diversify the characters you can do. Why does that matter? The two red rays we're going to get, Chitin and Hieronymus, are in four locations. But three of the four locations that those rays drop into, she's amazing in. So you have Hieronymus that is in indoors and urban, both She's positive on. Then you have Chitin, which is outdoors. Not the best for her. But you do have Chitin in urban as well, which is amazing for her as well. Now, Chitin is a little bit more AoE and centric. But she is still very usable when you're bringing AoE, especially at a two cost, to supplement a lot more damage. 
Now, Hieronymus is really the reason why you need to level her. Yes, you're going to need characters like Azusa. Yes, you're going to need characters like Koharu. Yes, you're going to need uh, eventually Anako and stuff like that, right? You're going to need a lot of these characters. But she will easily, at a two cost, do over a million damage. And if you guys can see here, when Hieronymus dropped for the first time, it was extreme difficulty. And we're probably going to have this sometime in the next six weeks. So this is your warning to start farming right now. You need her for this raid. You also need her for Kitan. In my opinion, like she is just a great, she could plug in as a, a great supplement DPS or a primary DPS. And she, once again, she's also really, really good in bounties, right? So if you're struggling in bounties on top of that, she is especially good in the classroom. You can see Abydos has that. Uh, that bonus right there but like if you were struggling with classroom and i know i have not put out my classroom guide that is coming i've got so many things to do she's great here she's great everywhere i mean seriously guys like this is your warning this is your warning that she is the best two-star explosive character in the game stop what you're doing start farming her right now right this second especially when we're on our double drop weekends and everything like that Hopefully that can clear things up. Hopefully, uh, people, you're going to take her a lot more seriously. And then the other thing I did want to point out real quick. Let's hyper jump to that as well. Okay. So looking at Serica, right? Once again, great, great synergies across the board. She gets an outdoor affinity up to neutral. That's very rare in any character. So that means she's not bad anywhere when she gets her unique equipment. And she gets increased attack and further attack percentage from her unique equipment. This is, this is one of the best in the game, guys. I'm telling you. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down one of the best. Well, uh, hopefully that can clear some things up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, you know, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Come join us on Discord. Um, I'm going to start uh, doing a lot more YouTube streams on top of that. In addition to our Twitch streams, I do appreciate you guys. And hopefully you'll get her as close to the five stars you can before we get to those red raids. And then, then you can thank me later. It's okay. I thank you. Peace out, everyone. <laughs>